What's up, YouTube? We are back with episode 9 of the UCA Bears Dynasty series. I know it's been a while since the last episode, but I'm excited to get back into it and play this week's game. So this week, we're actually going to start out doing some recruiting because we do have a bye. And then we play South Alabama the following week. So we're going to do the recruiting real quick, and then we'll get into the game. So we signed two players to the team. One of them is outside linebacker Scott Hill from Barling, Arkansas. Again, we cannot scout his entire skill set. We can see half of it, so let's see what he is. Oh, plus three overall, a nice 69 overall. Um, and then next week, we'll scout the other 50% and see if he goes up any more. And we also got an offensive tackle beefing up that O-line even further from Fort Worth, Texas, Vincent Wilson. Let's see what he is. Plus three overall. Okay, so all three guys that we committed so far are better than they were advertised as, so that's pretty cool. So in week nine, there are a few upsets across the top 25. The first one was Buffalo. Uh, I believe they were previously ranked eighth. They got beaten pretty badly by Northern Illinois in conference play. Florida Atlantic shocked Auburn in Jordan Hare Stadium. It was 17 to three before a couple of late scores by Auburn made it look closer. And the previously seventh ranked Oregon Ducks got blown out at home by UCLA. So three big unranked teams over ranked teams. We have a new Heisman frontrunner as Najee Harris has overtaken Trevor Lawrence for first place. Lawrence, of course, is second there. Then we have Kyron Williams, Mac Jones, and Ty Jordan in the top five. So two Bama players in the top five. All right, we're in week 11 now, so let's check out those recruits. So we have the Chris Davis committing to our team, middle linebacker from Mississippi. And let's see if he's a bust or a gem. Kind of a bust, not ideal, but he could still be a decent backup, maybe. Last week we saw Iowa upset Wisconsin, yet another unranked team beating a ranked team. Florida defeated Georgia, and they are now number one in the country. And then in a battle between two option schools, military schools, Army upset Air Force. Air Force is still ranked 18th, though. So as you can see, the top 10 is getting pretty crazy. We have Florida, Clemson, Bama, Notre Dame, and Louisville in the top five. Cincinnati is making their way up as they are six currently, sitting at eight and zero. Oh. Then everyone behind them has multiple losses, so it's probably gonna be one of those six that ends up winning the championship. We'll see though. Another week, another new Heisman frontrunner. This time it's Kyron Williams from Notre Dame. Then we have Robinson from Army, second. That's pretty crazy. Najee Harris drops a third. Khalil Herbert from Virginia Tech is fourth. And then Trevor Lawrence is all the way at fifth. These are the current standings in the conference. As things stand, it's going to be very tough to win the division. We would need, of course, to win out. And Coastal Carolina would need to lose a couple more because they do have the tiebreaker over us. Pretty well-balanced matchup for the most part. We have the same record in conference play and overall. Offenses and defenses are mostly comparable obviously the turnover margin is not friendly to either of us so as you can see in the bottom left there is another controller icon by south alabama you're probably asking yourself well how could that happen you're playing the computer well not today so the man who our quarterback is based off of cole hayes himself is actually going to be controlling south alabama today he and i have had some legendary games over the years so i'm very excited to see how this one turns out and don't worry, he's definitely not going to take it easy on me so I can get a free win because he wants to embarrass me in front of all my viewers. Correct. I briefly mentioned in the first episode that I had played a seven overtime game with someone. That was Cole, so maybe we'll have another classic today. So these are the unis we're rocking with today. Kind of an interesting color combination, but I think it looks fine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am him, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Cole Hayes. I am here to challenge Sandy and knock him off his throne. So today for the South Alabama Jaguars, I will be rocking the classic all-white Stormtrooper look with accents of red. Let's get it on. We do have Terrence Parker visiting this week, a wide receiver prospect. So if we throw for 250 yards, we'll get some bonus points for him. All right, time for the coin toss. And it looks like we're going to win it again. We're going to kick. All right, boys, let's get this game going. I'm going to kick it about five yards in the end zone. He's got a man named Voisin returning. Kind of a cool name. 
And he's got a lane. We can stop him though. We got Bamboody. No. Oh my god. No. No. Touchdown South Alabama. <sighs> That's not how I wanted to start. Cole is just smirking at me right now. I gotta do something on this next drive. Alright, so we get the ball now, and we're gonna run it with Hayes. On the inverted veer, gets about eight, maybe nine yards. Okay, not a bad start at all. We'll take it. Second and one, and we got him wide open on the slant. Calvin Jones, big first down. Oh, with the spin move, dirty. Tackled the 30. Kind of rhymed. Going to hand off to Matthews, and not really anything there. Oh, there's a flag, though. I think that's going to be a face mask. Yes, sir. Give us those yards. Third and five now. Don't want to settle for a field goal. We got to get a conversion here. Keep the drive alive. And we're going to throw it over the middle. Almost intercepted. What was I thinking? That was a dump throw. So we got to settle for a field goal after I was just saying uh, that's what we wanted to avoid. But it is up and good, so we do get some points in our opening drive. 7-3. And here's the option offense that Cole runs all the time. And he's going to run it. What the heck did he just do? What? He just pitched it with his full bag and still kept it. Third and eight. Under center. He's going to roll out with it. Out. Can we get there? No, we can't. He barely got it by a yard. Dang. First and ten. And he's going to hand it off. Oh, what a big stop. Loss of four. Second and 14 after that play now. And another run. Rockett's going to keep it. Oh, we forced her to pitch it, but we can't make the tackle there. Gets about eight yards. And third down. We stop him on the option. Loss of five. And it'll be fourth and 11. So we force a punt on our first drive defensively. Oh, no, it's a fake punt. He's going to throw it, and it's incomplete. Either I got a hand on it or he dropped it. But either way, it's our ball. First and 10 now after that failed a fourth down conversion. Going to roll out with Hayes. Got a man wide open. It is Willie Matthews, and he has a block, and he's got a first down and more all the way to the 20-yard line. Second and seven, and Matthew's going to get it up the middle. Picks up about six yards. Not bad. Third and two. We're going to go five wide here. And we're going to throw it in the end zone. Wide open is Upshaw. Bruh. And he overthrew him. you got to be kidding me. How? I cannot believe he missed that throw. So we got to kick a field goal again. It's good. I mean, I'll take another field goal, but like... He we had two guys wide open. All right. Boys, I'm going to return it again. Oh, please don't allow another touchdown. I'm going to be so upset. Come on. Stopped at the 50. Jeez, maybe I just shouldn't kick to him at all. Probably would be a good idea. Third and one now. I'm expecting a run here, playing run-heavy defense. He is going to run it up the gut with Rockhead, and we stop him. Fourth and one. Does he go for it or does he punt it? He is going to go for it. Can we stop him again? This time, it's not going to be a fake. Looks like it's an outright play. And he's going to run it. No, it's a fake. And he's going to throw it. Broken up. Incomplete. And we get the ball back again. Another turnover on downs. The first and ten after we get the ball back. Got to make this count. We're going to pitch it with Matthews. Oh, we throw it back to Hayes. Trick play. And that's going to be a first down. 14 yards. I guess that counts as a run. It's a lateral. But either way, we'll take it. Second and eight. I'm going to fake it to East. And we throw it to Upshaw on the screen. He's got the first down with some nice blocking downfield. Second and nine. And we got him on the flag there. Heikens gets his feet in. A first down, gain of 14. I like the drive so far. We're going to head off to Matthews. He breaks a couple tackles, and Matthews is in for the touchdown. Nice run by the running back, and we have our first lead. 13-7 after the extra point. Assuming we make it. And it's good. 
Second and five is a handoff to the running back Davis, and he's got the first down. That's kind of a weird tackle animation on that last play. And Trotter's going to keep it, and he's got a first down, man. Out of 18, that uh, two quarterback system is hurting us. Trotter's going to hand it off to Avery, and he can't tackle him. <laughs> Defensive tackle was too slow. Gain of 14. Man. Our run defense is uh, not very good. Oh, he's going to pass it now, man. They can't even stop him with the pass game. <laughs> Third in goal now. Can we hold him to a field goal? Or possibly another fourth down failure. Looking. He's got him on the slant. And he hangs on to it for the touchdown. I thought we could maybe knock it out. But he has tied the game pending the extra point. So extra point was good. We're now trailed by one. And we're going to throw it. No. We are set. Don't know what I was thinking there. Third and 13. Really need a conversion. Uh, I think we got two people. We got him. <sighs> Another off throw by Hayes on a huge down. Man, we really needed that last conversion. We got to get the ball back. And Schroeder somehow breaks a tackle. What? Gets three yards when it should have been a loss of three, but oh well. Second and seven, another option play. Trotter's going to keep it. Oh, we missed the tackle. That was a bad angle by me, and I don't think we can get him. That's going to be a touchdown, South Alabama. Our rushing defense just might bite us in the butt again. I'm going to fake that to Upshaw. I'm going to roll out. No one's open. We just throw it away. Oh, my God. Is that going to be intentional grounding? you got to be kidding me. So, third and 19. After the intentional grounding and then incomplete pass. No one's open. Matthews is. I uh, probably should have thrown that. I'll run with it, though. Oh, I think I can get it. And we get the first down with Hayes. Oh, and he's still going. Oh, my God. Still going. Look at him breaking tackles all the way to the 18-yard line. What a run by Hayes. That was one of the best plays we've had all year, honestly. And we got our tight end Dixon there on the flat route. He's got the first down, breaks a tackle. Eight-yard gain, first and goal. We're going to keep it with Hayes on the QB power in. He is not in. Thought he was. Second and goal now after that stop. Oh, I like the way the defense is lining up. And we got him wide open. Touchdown, Dylan East. This time Hayes does not miss the wide open guy in the end zone. And we are down by two. It's a one point ball game now after that extra point. Now we just gotta make sure he doesn't get any points before the half. All right, trying not to kick it to Voisin this time. So, no. Oh my god, that's going to be a penalty out of bounds. Really dumb of me to kick out of bounds there, so he gets a good field position. Oh my god! And we drop the pick! We had a pick on the last play, and we dropped it. you got to be kidding me. And now he's going to get a first down to midfield with 17 seconds left. Second and 10. If we pick it! Bruh. We dropped two picks on the same drive. you got to be kidding me, dude. Two drop picks. Are they going to cost us on this drive? Oh my gosh, what a hit by Van Booty. Fourth and seven. So instead of punting, he's actually going to go for it. And he's got his tight end for the first down. That puts him in field goal range. All that because we dropped two picks on the same drive that could have given us a field goal. And now assuming that he has enough time to spike it, he's going to get a play. He's going to get a field goal off. He does spike it with a second left. That is sad. So the kick is going to be up and good. So at 25 seconds left, Cole drives down the field on me. Scores a field goal after we drop two picks. And he's going to have a four-point lead going into halftime. It's okay, though. We still got a lot of ball game left. 24 to 20. And we get the ball start the second half. I'm ready. Going to fake it to Upshaw and give it to Matthews on the first play. And a gain of seven. Not bad way to start the half. 
And we're looking, we got him open. Oh, we had to throw it away to avoid the sack. Quick three and out is not how we wanted to start the half. Crafting on the field. I think that's another great punt as always. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Out of the seven. Great field position. So the seven yard line is where he will start. And Schroeder's going to keep it, and we missed the angle again. you got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we actually have a guy that can stop him. I thought he was gone. So 53 yards on the last play. I'm expecting a run to the right. No, it's a run to the left. He got us. And Davis has a first down and more. My gosh. All the way to the 14. So first and goal from the one. It'd be a miracle if we could stop him here. Hand off to the fullback. We do get a stop. Okay. Second and goal. And he's going to pitch it. And Van Booty with the stop. Okay. Third and goal. Loss of a yard. Third and goal. From the one. Maybe the two. Gives it to Davis. Oh, and he runs into his own lineman. We stop him. And it's fourth and goal from, I believe, the three. But he's actually going to kick it here. No, it's a fake. And we get him again. Three fourth down conversion attempts. Three failures. Man, our defense has come up clutch in those moments. Now, if only our defense had come up clutch in the run game. But we'll take what we can get. Hey, he's going to roll out. Almost got sacked. I think we got Upshaw. Beautiful placement there. 11 yard gains and a first down along the sideline. First and 10. And we got him wide open. Oh no, oh my gosh. Thought that was going to be picked off, but we caught it. Oh, and Jones with some great downfield blocking. Oh, look at that. Dixon is going to go all the way. Touchdown, UCA Bears. From almost a pick to a 77 yard touchdown. What a momentum shift. We have the lead. What a game this has been. Second and seven. He's going to hand off to Avery, and he's got the first down. Oh, the juke move. That was nice. Got an extra five yards or so. So we lead by three going to the third quarter, but there's still a lot of football left to play. Let's see if we can clutch it out and get the win. Third and one. Can the defense come up clutch again? They do. We stop him. Fourth and one. And I expect another fourth down attempt. Yep, he is going to go for it on fourth down. One of four today. He's going to roll out with it. Oh, we got the tight end covered, but can we get there in time? No, we can't. Beat us with his legs again. First down. And Rockhead is going to pitch it to Avery. We make the, no, we don't make the tackle. Oh, no. Another bad angle by me, and that's going to be a touchdown. Jaguars, 294 yesterday yards. And he's going to go for the onside kick here. I don't know what he's thinking, but we recover with great field position. Wow. Cole is saying he accidentally pressed the button, but I don't know. So we're going to throw to Jones here. And, oh, with a juke move. Oh, my goodness, that was dirty. Touchdown, Bears. Just like that, we have the lead again. Wow. Third and two. 4.44 left. We stop him again. Fourth down. And I'm expecting another conversion attempt. Fourth and two. Hands off to Avery. And we, oh, we stopped him. Peters came from the edge to make the tackle. We get the ball with four minutes left, up by three. Wow. So if we can get a touchdown, I think we should be able to win it. If we can just burn some clock and at least get a field goal. Looking pretty good for us. I'm going to run it here. We got him on the option. Oh, my God. We did not have him on the option. Really dumb decision by me to pitch that. And now he's going to give it to the fullback. And the fullback is going to run for 28 yards on us. That is discouraging. 
So three and a half minutes left. We have the lead. But Trotter's going to keep it himself. And he's got the first down again. Gain of 12. First and goal from the two. Can we get another goal line stand? No, we cannot. Touchdown, South Alabama. So we trail by four with 320 left. We've had plenty of these drives all season. Can we come out clutch again? Screen pass, Matthews. Oh, he misses the tackle. Thank goodness. Good blocking. Oh, we got the first down. Okay. I'll take a 12-yard gain any day of the week. Not bad. Got him wide open is Calvin Jones. Being chased down by a safety. Can he get to him? Oh, wow. That was a great defensive play, but 51 yards for Jones. He's had some big plays. And we got Matthews breaking a couple tackles. Look at that run by Matthews. First and goal after that Matthews catch. And Matthews is going to run it this time. He is in for the touchdown. We reclaim the lead with 2.41 left. Oh, I should not have kicked it to him. I already know what's going to happen. Breaks a tackle. Oh, I thought we had him. Come on. <laughs> I'm never kicking to him again. I promise. 63 yard return, man. I got to stop kicking to that guy. For real. And Avery's going to tackle him for a loss. That's a big play. 150 to go. Third and 11. If we get a stop here, it'll be huge. We do get the stop. No! He broke a tackle and got the first. What a great second effort, but I really thought we had him. Second and five. About a minute 19 left, and he's got the first down. I'm going to have to use a timeout. Minute 16 left. Avery's going to roll out with it. Oh, he's got the first probably... Yes, he does. I thought we were going to hit him, but he slid. Got to use another timeout. The second and goal, out of timeouts. Yeah, we stop him, but I don't know. Clock's going to keep running. Maybe I should have let him score, because if he scores here, uh, I don't know if I'll have enough time left. He's going to let the clock tick all the way down. Runs it with Davis. Touchdown, South Alabama. That might be the dagger. You know, we're not giving up. We still got 28 seconds. No timeout, so we just got to play the sidelines. Going to roll out with Hayes here. And there's our first completion. Upshot. Oh, I kept, probably could have kept going. So 19 yards there. Just wanted to get out of bounds and play it safe. And we have Upshot again. Gets out of bounds. Gain of 17. Okay. First and 10 now after that. And no one's really open. We got to throw it away. Man, that bird five seconds off the clock, though. That's not good. 11 seconds left. Looking. No one's open, and we're going to take off with it. We got to get past the first, or it's game over. Yes, we do, with three seconds left. Got to go spike it. So after the spike, we have three seconds to throw a Hail Mary to win the game. The last chance. Complete. And that's going to be the ball game. What a finish, but we can't pull it off. Just an absurd game. Definitely one of the best games we've played all year. I mean, look at this scoring summary. It looked like we were going to, you know, maybe have the lead early on. We did have the lead. Then we let up a couple touchdowns. That field goal for the half sucked. And then the fourth quarter was obviously crazy. But, man, that was a really fun game, I gotta admit. Hayes played great. Threw for 329 yards, three touchdowns, no picks on just 24 attempts. And then he ran for 86 yards on 10 carries. Matthews wasn't great, but he did have two touchdowns at least. And he was involved in the pass game with 55 yards. Jones had a bunch of yards and a touchdown. East had a touchdown. Dixon had that big play. Van Booty with 13 tackles at a career high. Led the team here. He also had two tackles for a loss, as did Blake Childress. Only had one sack. You can tell our offensive approaches are different just based off that. Mine was more balanced. His was obviously very run-oriented. Um, stopped him a fourth down four times, and we still could not get the win, including once in the red zone. That fumble was what really killed us, though. Had the lead, and we fumbled, and that was on me. 
Well guys, it was a great game, but unfortunately we cannot pull it off. Losing 45 to 41, could not get the Hail Mary to go as time expired. So I now sit at four and five. We have to win two of our last three games in order to be bowl eligible. Looks like next week we're gonna take on Georgia Southern who is also an option team. So hopefully we can do a little better job of stopping them than we did this week. Then we'll take on Texas State the week after that and finish with our in-state rival, Arkansas State. That's about all I have. This video has been pretty long, so I'm going to stop it there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like. And if you want to see me play Cole or maybe some of my other friends in real life more often, let me know. If you want to play me, you can always come up here and play. I'm always welcome. Um, so yeah, that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.